Two evil Pinely videos ago, we talked here about Rufus, the man attempting to create an AI movie. Just a refresher about the video that started it all. Hello, my name is Princess Jane. I would like to show you some tricks. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> and in a comment under this, Rufus said bravely, I know one day these pessimists today will be the ones appreciating AI movies. <laughs> that's a good, that's a good reply. That's a good reply right there. So I only posted that video like a, a week ago, right? And in that video, I was kind of joking about how all of the weird little uh, videos, just like this one, like, like this one right here, uh, they're all connected. They're all part of the same cinematic universe. He's made this video as well. My first singing video with Reface app. Not thrilled with the output. Let's let's see why he's not thrilled with the output. Oop, that's copyrighted. Uh, but you can kind of tell this is uh, this is freaky, freaky little. That's a freaky monster. Humans don't move their head. This is horrible. So I tried to connect all these little videos, like this one and other ones, and I was like, they're all connected. Rufus is making a cinematic universe. That was a joke. I was just joking. But you know what they say? In every joke that Evil Pinely makes, there's a hint of prophecy. <laughs> you know, the, the old saying, <laughs> the saga continues. The AI cinematic universe is just starting. AI is going to change the movie industry for good. Begin my dangerous journey to defeat King Daxter for a variant peace. <laughs> dying over here. I wasn't even listening to a word of what he was saying. Just the build up saying that this is gonna be changing cinema for good. And then a punchline of this. I had a lot of people in the comments of my last video being like, this is, this, this, this is like, you know, satire. And you know what? I think it's okay to believe in magic every now and again. Sometimes it isn't satire. Rufus was leaving these replies under just a random post and it got picked up. I, I, I believe that this is a real guy creating the best jokes ever made. And if this is, um... If, if this is satire, it's really impressive, I guess. It's still really funny. But I don't think it is. I think this is- I think Rufus is real. I believe in Rufus. I am Prince Drilling. What? I am Prince Drilling. Prince Drilling? Drilly? I am Prince Drilling. I don't- I don't know. <laughs> the darkness of King Daxton threatens the fairy kingdom of Avalium. So we have Prince Drilling. Like a drilling machine. King Daxton and the Kingdom of Avalian. I'm guessing King Daxton is- It's this guy, if, if you watched the last video. It's this... guy. Crush their forest rebellion. Bring me my enchanted sword. Ready the dragon riders. So he's looking for a goddamn sword or something from the fairies. Though the quest be treacherous, I have vowed to save this land. With elven magic and fairy allies, I begin- Okay, okay, there is some- so the- he's- he's with the elves or something? And he's- he's with the fairies, which last video I assumed that Princess Jane is a fairy. I was joking about that, but I think I was- <laughs> I think I was right. My dangerous journey to defeat King Daxton and restore Avalium's peace. Raving- Yeah, this music is not loud at all. This music is right- the exact right loudness level. Great peril, I carry the pure heart of a hero. Failure means the fall of this realm. I shall face the vengeful king. Okay, I, I, he wants to fight the king or something. And he's an elf, I think he's an elf. I wouldn't be surprised if ChatGBT is also the one coming up with all this bullcrap. <laughs> An origin story narrated by Princess Jane, the AI cinematic universe is gradually taking shape. With more investments, AI will have a significant impact on the movie industry. I sure hope it does, because then we can get to see um, more stuff like this on the big screen. Hello, I am Princess Jane. I'm going to tell you a story about a kingdom named Avaloon. That's just the, the mixing. This is, I guess, a fascinating artistic choice he's vowed to hunt down every last fairy and elf until there's none left the fairies have tried to make peace with him 
but he won't stop until the kingdom is wiped out. Will Avalon fall to this vengeful king? So there's the kingdom of Avalon or, or something. King wants to kill Princess Jane, who's like a who's like a fairy, and the other dude who's an elf. But the king has stated that they stole something, but this could be like a George Bush weapons of mass destruction type of thing, right? Could be a lie, you know, just to start a war. This is probably like, you know how like the, uh, like Star Wars and also specifically the prequels are based on a lot of like very real political, uh, events. This could be what Rufus is doing. He could be picking inspiration from the U.S. Uh, Iraq War. Listen on to find out what happens in this epic battle between good and evil. Can't, can't fucking hear anything. <laughs> Princess Jane continues her epic tale. What will become of this great kingdom? The AI cinematic universe has been born. AI is the future of filmmaking. What is he? Is he AI? Because what the hell is? Because <laughs> like he's just saying the same stuff all the time. Hi, I am Princess Jane, your narrator. The kingdom of Avalon was about to be engulfed in war. Meanwhile, in the mountain kingdom of the dwarves, a young blacksmith named Durgan Forgesteel was dis- what? Is that what he thinks movies are? That movies are just a person looking directly at the camera and giving some chat GBT spat out backstory? I said it last time, but I, I don't think that he's ever watched a movie. And this keeps proving my point, because there are no movies like this, really. This is just a character looking at the, <laughs> the camera and just giving backstory with music that is way too loud. Discovering his true powers. Born as a dwarf, but abandoned as a baby. <laughs> Born as a dwarf, but abandoned as a baby. Oh, that's good. Could Durgan become the hero destined to save both dwarves and humans from annihilation? His journey was about to begin. Ha! I feel like this is just goop, you know? I feel like this is bleh. Just vomit. Just exposition vomit drilled into my brain. I guess if you've ever if you've ever watched a movie and you're like, God, I wish this was all just exposition. <laughs> I wish nothing happened in this and this was just like an just exposition and that's it. Uh, Rufus is making the cinematic universe just for you. Hey Rufus, this is pretty good. It's just missing. Uh, originality, skill, writing, acting, meaning, theme, cinematography, charm, joy, adventure, production, lighting, audio mixing, and story. And you know what? I agree with this reply. Get a job, leave him alone. <laughs> it's really good, but it could use some tricks. That's referring to her turning into dust. Princess Jane sweep. I agree. Guys, you gotta let him cook. You gotta let him cook, because this is great, and I'm really enjoying this, <laughs> this goddamn nonsense. <laughs> Saga that he's he's working on epic tale continues as it always does. It's con Continues from tweet to tweet dwarven lord Durgon forge steel accepts his destiny and goes out to save his world Is this gonna be an exposition dump? I hope that it is I hope to god that it is given us some more exposition Fairies elves and humans bicker while the real danger lurks in the east It is time for me Durgon forge steel just can't hear anything. Save these lands and restore balance before this great evil consumes everything. God, don't know what he's saying. <laughs> Can he make an Irish uh, uh, warlord, warrior, sorry, misread that, named Hentai Mechporno? That is just so unserious, guys. Princess Jane with the trans flag. I like it. Iconic. Dirk Forge Steel is my comfort character. Yeah, it's mine as well. I love it when he said, um... Assumes everything. The path is filled with peril. I love this. This is my favorite quote of, uh, uh, drag on these nuts. Oh my god, are we actually seeing more footage other than her talking to the camera? This is- this has amassed an audience. Like, at first some of his tweets would get like a few hundred likes here and there. Now this is like- this is a thing. People are- people are- are- are, are thirsty for this. Yes! yes. They chant, give, give us more, more videos, videos, videos of Princess, of Princess Jane, Jane, Jane talking, talking to, the, to the, the camera. And we got it. And we keep getting it. It's incredible. Hi, I am Princess Jane. Oh, she's Princess Jane. I thought this was someone else. It's a good thing that she introduced herself for the 10th time. 
because I thought this might be someone else. Luckily, he's still using the same JPEG picture of her. I get it's easier for me to associate that this is, in fact, Princess Jane. While the fairies and elves aligned to battle the evil human king, a much greater evil never before seen was rising in the east. Only Durgan forge a steel. The <laughs> it's just a still image of him standing there. Son of fire could prevent this catastrophe and... What a beautiful picture of uh, Dragon, Dragon D's Nuts, Forge Steel. Look at his beautiful eyes. Oh, another still picture. The, East the reason they call them the movies is because the pictures never move. Elves, dwarves, and humans alike. Join me next time for the exciting continuation of the... Hello, my name is Princess Jane. I would like to show you some tricks. I hope you enjoy <laughs> What the f What is going on? What is going on in these replies? Durgan has bigger problems than the Scarlet's- <coughs> His hand is all messed up. His hand's all messed up. Poor guy. I'm so sad that she's just the narrator. More tricks, please. I agree. You need to flush out her tricks... abilities. Hi, I'm Princess Jane, your narrator. I want every comment under this video to start with, Hi. I'm Princess Jane, your narrator. Every single comment to start with this. There's something so soothing about this, you know, this introduction. You know that you're in good hands. Even Lord Durgan Forgesteel goes in search of the Dragon King Vi- Oh, this dragon is melting. Dragon's melting away. I, I, I guess I'd say he's getting better at it. By getting better, I mean, I think he's typing- I think he's typing more stuff into the image generator. Getting really good at typing more stuff into a thing. Because now we're getting more pictures, you know? It's more visually engaging. Does the story make sense? I, I think it does. There's trouble coming from the east. Princess Jane is our narrator. I think we've established that much. Durgan something. He's like a good warrior. He's he's doing a lot of stuff. And now there's like a magician, like a sorcerer or something. Is this a good story? No. This very much feels like an AI-generated, um, fairy tale story thing. <laughs> well done, how long did it take you to create this? Three hours! <laughs> took you three- <laughs> It took you three hours to make this! How? Look at this picture! How did- how did that take a- what did he do for those three hours? I am Princess Jane. Uh, what happened to Princess Jane's voice? Huh? Huh? Rufus? Huh? Where's she gone? Not happy about this beginning. As war breaks, the fairy elders convene- I guess it's probably because she got struck by lightning five times. Her voice changed a bit. <laughs> she keeps getting struck by lightning. <laughs> they summon the elven archmage Eldon, seeking an alliance. <laughs> <laughs> Is she okay? I guess she's a fairy or something. I guess that helps her. Elf and fairy agree to combine. If the loud ass music was not enough for you, there's now constant thunder sound effects just repeating again and again and again. This is filmmaking on a level uh, un unheard of before. This is incredible, loving the lightning effect and all the images are beautiful. Are these- are these babies? Are these just babies watching this? Because that's the only way I I can think of that someone would be like actually like impressed with this. Cause like a baby doesn't know what AI is, right? A baby's like, ooh, lightning. Ooh, these images are really nice. Ooh. A grown adult surely would not be like clapping their hands over this things. Anyways, that's that's kind of it for the cinematic universe for now. Um, I think he's gonna keep going. There's one video that I wasn't sure if that's a part of the cinematic universe, and that's this one. Fluffy the bird, uh, created with whatever. This AI cinematography will be interesting and scary at the same time. What an output! Haha. Uh -huh. Facial expressions are great, okay? Just remember that as we look in deep into this monstrosity's messed up eyes. Hello, I am Fluffy. I'm a bird of the seven seas. I'm going to take you on a voyage. Join me as we transverse the world. Hello, I am Fluffy. I'm a bird of the seven seas. He's a bird. He's a b he's a bird. That's what a it's what a bird looks like. Looks like this. Someone left a comment under my last Rufus video being like, "Do you think that 
what you're doing is any better because you're reacting to these videos. And I'd say that I, I think it is. But there is some magic in this. There is a lot... I'm enjoying this quite a bit. I also think that in terms of fair use, this is absolutely okay. I mean, this is... It, he didn't make this. If Rufus has spent, like, countless of hours painting this picture of a bird, of what is clearly a bird, um, uh, then, then, yeah, I mean, just, like, kind of reacting to it, that it, it would raise some moral questions. Uh, but he didn't. He typed a sentence. Fully fair game, as far as I'm concerned. Let me know if you want me to follow up on this saga. It's clearly going into fascinating places. Uh, subscribe for more, uh, birds. <laughs>